What's up, everybody? I'm the Burning Sky Cloud, and welcome back to Changed. It's been a little while since I played this game. I also had to do a factory reset on my computer, so I had to walk through the, uh, all the way back to this part. But I'm here again, and I have nothing more insightful to say. Let's see what other mysteries I'm going to do. What the? You've got to be shitting me. Alright. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So like, every three steps he attacks. What, do I have to make my way up to him? You, pal. Hmm. Curses. Well, you reached me. This intelligent creature seems to acknowledge your desire for our survival. He nodded, but you're not so you're not sure what it means. Can you call off your winged mad creatures, please? I really don't want to have to face them. Thank you! I'm just not going to get near you. So, there's absolutely... Gotta be careful. Oh, I thought there was something coming after me right there for a second. Okay, don't touch... Whatever I do, don't touch the green stuff. Why am I going slow? Got a bad feeling. Why is everything getting dark? Oh, shit. Okay. I think it's dark enough where they can't see me, so that's a plus. Good. I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run. What the f what what? <laughs> no, I can't be furriorized. In the face of so many dangers and fears, you finally couldn't hold on any longer. Ah, passed out. A normal man. Gone through so many strange things in such a short period of time. 
You don't even have the strength to walk anymore. You wish you were dreaming, but you know that's a foolish hope. What happened outside? Is anyone alive? What can I do? Loneliness, fear, and panic engulf your heart. It might be good to sleep like this. You feel as if you are being embraced softly, like by a silken blanket. Oh, well, these were not turned. Mental food at the moment isn't important to you. You notice flakes of black latex on it. Did they put it here? You can't wait to eat it. And it, really, the food is sour, but it's much better than feeling hungry. You're not sure why, but you're homesick. You whip your eyes and finish off the fruit. I hope we don't turn. After eating the fruit, you feel a lot better. You pick up the remaining seeds and get up. It's time to go. Oh, good. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. A potted tree. The branches and leaves are luxuriant, and the trunk is quite thick. An inside tree. What is this? You can input the password in this machine outside of the corridor. There's a clue all right around here. Pamphlets. A pile of books on genetics. Which way do I go? And zoology. Virology. What the heck is vi virology? <laughs> I need to know which way I'm going here. Why does every door have to be locked? Okay, that answers my question. A dead potted tree. Oh, okay. Woo! Good thing you don't do anything, Mr. Bird. <laughs> oh, fuck. I spoke too soon. Alright, hang on. Let me eat these fruits real quick and then save. So I'm not going back through. Okay, I didn't expect the bird to actually consume me. Okay, now I gotta deal with birds. Yay, the box gets reset. Stay away from me. God, I'm scared. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, hang on. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Get the fuck away from me, you stupid ass bird. You scare me. Well, at least I know the box is reset. Thank God, I don't want to deal with that bird. A tired old potted plant. A crude astronomical poster. 
Maybe the clues are here. Yeah, everybody likes to knock the door. Eight digits. Hold on. Seven. Could be zero. Maybe it's a nine, I don't know. Ah, fun! I gotta go back through here. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go back inside, because I hit that bird. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so I got a seven and a nine. Hmm. I'm too attached to this. Crystals are blocking the door. Maybe that's the way I came in. <laughs> Fuck that bird. I don't know what the hell that did, but okay. There's a clue here somewhere, but I don't know where. But what if it's like one, two, three, four? Huh. Then that would lead number five. <sighs> Maybe the trees are a clue too. I don't know. Uh -huh. I think I missed the part where it was like four. <laughs> well, it's okay, because I, I can just... Okay, see, I didn't realize. Something opened. Finally. Okay. Oh! Oh, I like the red markings. Didn't even see where I was still going. Okay, if you, uh, if you can figure out what... Okay, if you can figure out how I managed to figure out that password. I don't know. Um. 
Oh, it's another swimming bot. Those are broken. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Okay, I can't get out. Oh, I don't want to get caught here. Oh. Yeah, I figured it out. Alright, so, yes, for the most part, there is a clue in that room. I didn't see it before. I probably wouldn't have figured it out. Um, I'm sorry, what? What just happened? Nope. That thing is trying to open the door. It doesn't look like you could outrun it forever. Your best shot is to find a hiding place quickly. Fuck. Oh shit, okay. So I have to outrun the monster. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe I just have to learn how to hide. I don't know what the shadow moving shadows are. Alright, let's try this again, shall I? No! Oh, fuck. Okay, I, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I would have gone caught. Because my character seems to like to not do, uh... Get in a spot where he can hide quickly enough. Fuck! Oh! I think I see what I need to do. I need to have him come down. Go around and then run. Clever. It's like an attack dog. Alright, I'll keep trying until I can get past this hard dog. Some living latex stick on the other side of the door. Okay. So then I guess I have to outrun it. Fuck me over, stupid. This is not gonna be easy.
Okay, I think I see what I did. I had to move that damn box up. Just run for it. Almost made it. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> I got pa I panicked because he's in the way. Uh, oh shit. How the mother fucking hell am I supposed to be him? Oh, thank God. I'm just going to save right here. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with that left thing anymore. Please, for the love of muffins. Good thing I motherfucking saved. <laughs> that would not have gone over so well for me if I didn't save. Oh, God. I wonder what happens if I go back out. He's gone. Well, ain't no skin off my bones. Oh, fuck off. Ugh. Getting through this room's gonna be a pain in the ass. And I stupidly just walked in there for no reason. You know, every time that I get... become a furry, it's like I get better and better. You... how the fuck? Let me just save up here real quick. I don't want to go back through this pain. Right, where am I? Oh! <laughs> Please don't be afraid of me. I'm not going to assimilate you. I'm not the same as them. Please rest assured. You must have seen the hits that I posted on the wall. More or less. F looking up also helps. <laughs> I know that humans must be very smart and excellent creatures. If you're a human, then it would be easy for you to get here. I guess to, for you. 
I know that it's been hard, but thank you for getting here. Please rest for a while. Do you want to talk? Interesting voice I gave him. Her. It. Suddenly, I'm feeling a little nervous. Actually, you're probably more nervous than he is. But maybe he knows the code? It might be a good idea to ask him about this place. It's not because I don't get slimerized again. <clears throat> good! I'm glad you didn't run away or throw anything in my face! Yeah, we're, we're nice. If you're nice, I'm nice. That's how it goes. Unlike your attack dog and all the other slimes that are in this confounded building. As you can see, I'm a so-called monster. Just a normal, nothing special monster who wants to be better. Actually, I know different than those things that you've seen before who want to transfer you. <laughs> in fact, please try not to fall on me. Yeah, that would not be a good thing. The consequences are very serious. Well, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Pururu. Pururu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black latex monster. I'm using quotation marks every time I say monster. So just imagine me doing the quotation marks with my fingers using monster every time he calls himself monster. If I have a gender, I think I would be... Well... I guess you were the one who was... Oh, oops. I'm not very good at writing. But I hope that the hint I wrote helped you understand the situation better. He may be male, but he has more like a... I don't know, I guess I'm trying to give him a voice that would match more like a... Monster-like voice. As a furry monster. <laughs> I wrote it up and posted it on the wall. Disappointed? The one who lived you here isn't human? Who isn't human? However, humans are still an excellent species. You really made it. You came all the way to the library by yourself. <laughs> Referencing back to the note. Sorry, this place is a mess. I haven't cleaned it yet. It must have been the power failure that made your capsule open. Power failure. Okay, so we're getting some clues about what's going on. At that moment, I realized that you were finally going to wake up. I've never had a conversation with anyone before. Nobody else speaks here. I might be bad at it, but I will try my best to answer your questions. It's a good honor to have a conversation with a real human. Hey, don't don't diss me. I, you were human once too. Don't diss yourself. That's how it works. I've studied here for ages. Probably for this very moment. How long has it been? It's a great honor to talk with the species who created us. So what would you like to ask? Uh... How can you talk? Incredible, right? I was the same as those dark creatures you saw outside. Until one day, I came to this library. Library. And I took an interest in these books and the language you humans created. It was strange. But I started to look at these books filled with strange symbols and pictures. Oh. So he regained some of his human consciousness, kind of, in a way. Because, in truth, the human mind is always curious to know more, to want to learn more. And, in turn, that ended up being the reason why all these, um, well, why they created the latex forms. I mean, I get what they were trying to do was helpful, but in a way, it kind of doomed off humanity in the end. Anyway, I mean, humanity's still alive, but they're now buried. Buried creatures. It fascinated me. I read as many as I could, but I eventually started to notice the patterns, repeated words, and labeled pictures. But I'm not the only one who had the desire to learn. Oh, I'm the only one who had the desire to learn. Had the same interest in studying. Well, that's where we're gonna change things. The monster comes up to us. Book! Throw book in the slime. It will digest, it will learn, it will transform, it will transform. And then they'll be able to help us. They'll have no more desire to fuse with us. I'm surprised my I surprised myself that I wanted to talk. Studying this was super hard, but I really wanted to improve. 
prove myself. Human language, culture, and the entire world fascinated me so much. It would be awesome if I was a human. And I learned to sleep better without motion sensor, but it's still such a challenge for me to read. Yes! I prove myself. Yes! My species was created from a food sample that humans produced. So I know that I'm naturally weak, but of course I've heard that humans used to be very weak as well. But then a year ago. Maybe there could be a high IQ creature that can be beaten his kind to build their own civilization like humanity do. Maybe. I knew you were stupid, but no matter what happens, I still want to give it a try. I tried to better myself because I want my kind to be better. I don't want my kind to be, to doom, to be doomed to failure and extinction. Ah, uh, I want to be better. Oh my god, there's so many questions to ask. Evolution? I believe you've already seen those impressive crystals on the way here. When we die, our bodies dissipate. Only this white mask remains. After our masks fall to the ground, it's first the same type of crystals which you saw on the way here. Oh, so when they die, their masks fall off and become those solid type forms. The crystals break eventually, producing new creatures. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, please don't tell me that's gonna happen. Sometimes, a few of them turn out to be different than the rest. I am one of these. The ones that can fly, and that big guy are evolved more than most. The normal ones like me were created using wolf's DNA. Ooh. Why me? I don't know. I never saw what you looked like. I couldn't see into the capsule. But you turned out to be really, really weak, and not very big either. So what were, what was, what was I supposed to turn out, to, what was I supposed to turn out to be like? Even escaping that big tail was pretty difficult for you, wasn't it? That was a tail? Before I was planning to leave you here and use your body for my own. Okay. So the desire to still fuse is kind of buried in there, but it's not as strong. You're in control of it. But to tell you the truth, I was really disappointed when I first laid my eyes on you. Looking at you, you're all thin and weak. It's a miracle that you managed to get out here at all. We can only choose a host once, before we're stuck with them. I'm not sure if I'd say you're worth it. Can I still talk to you? Alright, what's your plan? It was a long, long time ago. I went upstairs to try and find more information about the world. There I discovered info that said that there's still a human in one of the capsules. Then I found the room you were locked in. I wrote all the clues I could think of that could help you and lead you to me. If you don't get that here quickly and keep wandering around this building, you will be transferred by those latex creatures. My original plan was to use the last human as a host, and I could be better and stronger. That Even though you've been kidnapped, it may have been a blessing. That didn't turn out the way you expected, did it? You missed the plague outbreak and survived. I don't know whether you'd call that lucky or unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. Kind of both, in a way. It's kind of ironic. But now I'm sure that you're the only human in this building. Oh my god, were they the ones to really assist the future after what happened with Corona? Oh my gosh, if this is if this is legit, then I'm I'm so totally in. But what fur? But yeah, what what fur creature would I want to be though? That's the real question. <laughs> Man, 
Interesting. I have another curious question, but uh, I hope I remember it. The virus started spreading from the ocean and into the rivers, then onto the land. It spread everywhere. This virus can't harm any creatures but humans. If human touch or eat any animals that have been infected, humans will be infected too. This virus hides itself very well. Corona. When humans finally noticed it, almost 60% of humans on this planet were already infected. The outbreak happened, and then you woke up. That's about it. Let me ask about the building info. If you want to keep searching in this building and, and escape, you must have become lots of dangers. But if you made it this far, that means you've got what it takes to skip this building. Lots of doors in this building are closed as well. The doors are sturdy and most of them have passcodes. Not even I could get through them. But the room you were locked in. Try to keep going. I can't help you escape, but if you have any questions, please ask. It's so dangerous for me to search around the building. Why is it dangerous for you? Oh, right, because you need a host. And if you get fused with one of the latex monsters, then that's it. But how come the tell... How, how come the tell monster didn't go out after you? Password. The door next to the moon poster? So the human family needs some help. Yes. Can't you just, like, give me all the clues? But shouldn't you try and find out the password you're by yourself? Really? You're just asking me right away? Yes. I was expecting that you could figure it out by yourself, but I guess it is a really hard one. The password is 111 Do not forget! Let's see, what else can I find out? Ground floor. It's just the first floor, the one that connects to the outside. I've never seen it myself. I've never been outside before. To me, where you were born and go to a completely unfamiliar environment, I may be a monster, but it's still very frightening to me. Some of my friends were brave, they backed up and left, but none of them returned. I'm just a coward and a nerd. I've been waiting on you all for all this time, even though you're weaker than I expected. I never expected you to have such a weak body. No, thank you. <coughs> anyway, the bottom of the floor. The bottom floor of this building is the research area. It's organized and super dangerous. <laughs> Fun. We have met the ball of meats too, so please don't eat my fruit. Get your own fruit if you are hungry. <sighs> there are latex beasts over there. Are you here? You want to go in? Oh no. <laughs> in front of me! <laughs> well, I mean, we did kind of find out what we needed. Fuck. But maybe just in case, I'm gonna go back in. And just cut through the dialogue. Oh, I'm back. Uh, hey, there was a door that I wanted to check out. Alright, nope. Hold on a minute. Let me go save. That way, I don't mess up. F off.
Alright, alright. Let's let me just take my time. Get in everywhere. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be saving a lot because I don't wanna just go back through everything. No sorry, no sorry. Stay away from me. Stay the F and muffin away from me. Oh. There we go. This way I don't forget. I'm going to be using up all 99 files here. Control the gate of a library. I have to open it from the other side. Alright, well, I think I'm safe for the moment. Looks like the door is blocked by latex. What should I do? Maybe you go back? No! Stay away from me! Tail came back. It's angry that I managed to escape. You son of a bitch! Oh, that damn thing. to see I need to hide from the dog monster here the tail monster monster <laughs> can't use my quotations right now There we go. That was too close, but now you're safe. But there's no sa safe way out there anymore. Maybe you should ask Puro about it. Yeah. Ah, That would mean... <coughs> what happened? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit, I didn't realize. It took my brain a half a minute to actually realize what was going on. Alright, well, time to do this again. And unfortunately, I have no way of... Dodging that damn bird this time.
He struggled desperately and managed to wriggle away from the rubbery creature. It gave up its pursuit and ran away. Oh, god damn it. Wrong fucking box. Yeah, right, there we go. Wait. I'm going to save, so that way. I don't have to deal with coming back this way again. Thank God. I would not have been happy if I had to start all the way from the other side of the room. Alright, I'm going to talk to Pirate Hero, and then I'm probably going to end it here. And I walked into that for no reason. God, this game is, like, intensely hard. The only th the only real issue I have is trying to find the passwords. Fuck! The passwords are blatantly right in front of me. I'm looking at the books. I was looking at the books and, and the floor, and I wasn't really paying much attention to where. Alright. I am a pro at this. I don't mind so much. Oh, Pyro! What? The door is being blocked by those lizards? I was worried this might happen. Have you tried to find another way? Give it a try. There is no door, so it wouldn't be to succeed. Uh, other way? Yep, you could try going in those side rooms. The latex creatures inside are always asleep. I just checked it recently. They're still sleeping. I don't think they can hurt you as long as you don't wake them. I believe. You can make it. Show me your human intelligence. Anything else? No. No more questions for now. Alright, let me go save. I've been playing long enough. No, I'll probably save on 16. But, anyway, that was one heck of an episode for the time being. Hmm. What the fuck? How'd you get in there? Whatever. You're... That's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Oh. I don't mind so yeah, like I said, the passwords are the only issue I have with this game. I don't mind trying to outrun the monsters because it gives me an, a challenge to think about which way I'm going. Though I will admit, I did have to look up a few times the, the, the right path to go because I didn't see before the path I needed to take. But I'm doing pretty well so far for myself, for the most part. I was right, though. I knew that there were, like, more intelligent monster furry creatures.
that could actually help me out. I just hope that, you know, it doesn't all come down around me in the end. <clears throat> But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. I'll catch you later.